David Bui, uh, majoring in biology. We are breeding about 25, 26 different cichlid species, and we are trying to show that egg size determines the size of fry size. Fry is a point where the baby fish are able to swim on their own. So they're not just, you know, floating up and then dropping down. They are able actually to swim. They're all biology students. What they learn is how to ask questions, how to uh, see something. Like in this case, we see parents with kids. So that's, a, that's something that goes on. And then from that emerge the questions like, why is it that sometimes they're successful? Sometimes they're not. Why is it that sometimes the dad works really, really hard and sometimes he doesn't? <laughs> Sometimes only one parent takes care of the kids. Why is that? And um, you know the different strategies that the parents use. These are the kinds of things that that they learn how to ask questions and then design experiments to to answer them. I am collecting angelfish eggs. Got a whole bunch from here. Let's see, here's these little dots. I counted these. It's a good size. It's a. There was 246 total. I've collected 27 so far, and I'm currently separating those into here to uh, put in a vial to preserve. We do a whole bunch of different projects. I have many, many students that work with me. We do experiments in tanks. In fact, I have a large project right now, the Cichlid Fry, Fry Project, which has uh, 14 undergraduates working with me. And in that particular project, we're breeding these cichlid fishes and looking at the relationship between the egg size and the size of the babies that come out of those eggs. And the cool thing about that is most of these students have never worked with fishes before. And so I start with them with the convict cichlids because they're relatively easy to breed and they learn how to breed fishes, how to tell the males from the females. So with these we plan on looking at the relationship between uh, egg size and fry size. So uh, once hatchlings become free swimming, they're then deemed as fry. So we're going to be looking how they, uh, how they relate to one another. This particular species doesn't lay its eggs on the ground. They, well, they lay them very quickly on the ground and they pick them up in the mouth. And it's what's called a female mouth brooder, meaning that she carries the babies in her mouth. See the eggs? That is a mouth brooding cichlid from South America. And they have the most incredible parental care because rather than leave the babies to chance, um, they're in the safest spot they can be. They're right inside her mouth. She has about 30 in there. And she mumbles, she moves them around, and she'll keep them in there for about two weeks until they hatch. And then even when they hatch, the little fry stay inside her mouth for several more weeks. And then at that point, if it's safe outside, they come out of the mouth. But as soon as it gets dangerous, they go back into the mouth. It's just an amazing form of parental care.